My man Jeff is an investor from California, y'all, and he is trying to invest in the Cleveland market. So if any of you guys out there are from Cali investing in Cleveland, you're going to want to pay attention to this show because my man Jeff saw this duplex and thinks it might be an amazing bird deal. And I would say he's probably right, right? Looking at it on the surface, duplexes like this in this area go for like 125000 right now. This is listed for half of that. Let's talk about it right now. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS, and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. My name is James Wise, and I am here to analyze your deals, right? If y'all got some deals, you want me to look them over, shoot your information to sales at Holden Wise TV. Oh, I'm sorry, sales at HoldenWise.com or on Holden Wise TV. Click below this here video and book a free call on my team. Talk to you about how we can help you, right? Because today's show is for my guy, Jeff. He sent me this deal. And it looks like on the surface, possibly it could be a good deal. Let's talk about a possible bird deal. 4385 East 139th Street, Garfield Heights, Ohio, 44105. Now, this is where we got to put on our detective hat, right? Because there are some red flags if you look a little deeper, right? At first, you're like, okay, it's a duplex. Duplexes are like, you know, 125 k in this neighborhood. Sweet, dude. We're probably in the money. This thing only needs 62 grand. But here's a big red flag, and this is an issue. 84 days on the market. Now. In the Cleveland market right now, as I talk to y'all in 2022, you price a duplex correctly, it's selling in like a week tops, right? Selling in a week tops. Duplex with tenants in it. According to the listing agent's description, this thing has two tenants in it. They're paying below market rent, uh, I believe, okay? But as far as how much they're actually paying, she never said nothing. No. I thought it, she had listed it in the listing agreement, but she didn't. Maybe I'm getting confused on another one. Uh, but So she left this blank, okay? So says there's two tenants in there, okay? No, you know what it was? Ah, I know what it was. She, When I pulled these up for you guys on the show, I actually, uh, you see the public remarks, but there's actually another section, okay? There's a little another section. Uh, called broker remarks, right? That's what I get to see, and y'all don't get to see that. And uh, that's where I got a little more detailed. And it, it was under market rent. And it was like, one was like six and a quarter, the other was like 550, okay? And in addition to that, what she said in there, and this is part of your red flag, okay? Now, part of your red flag is that this thing is priced way less than everything else, but yet it's sitting on the market. That must be a problem. So in those broker remarks, I go in there deeper, and I'm reading those things. And sorry, I can't put those on the show. Not allowed. But essentially what they said was, you must be willing to buy it as is, and you cannot uh, do anything, right? If you get an inspection, it's just for your own viewing pleasure. You got to agree to take the thing as is. You don't get to do any due diligence. So I'm trying to do a little due diligence uh, on your behalf beforehand, right? Because this is Garfield Heights. Garfield Heights requires a point of sale, right? Point of sale. Means you have to do inspections uh, to be able to transfer title. And either the buyer has to assume violations from those inspections or the seller has to complete them. Seller not willing to do anything. You got to take it as is. So you'd have to assume those, right? So dig it deeper. Contact in the listing agent multiple times over and over and over and over. Have you even ordered a point of sale, right? Because it'd be crazy to agree to take this thing uh, completely as is, uh, knowing you'll have to assume the point of sale violations if we don't even know what they are, right? Nothing. Nothing. Not a word. Ghosted, dog. And that goes back to this, right? If this thing was listed at, like, 100K... It'd be gone under normal circumstances in like a week, right? She's got this thing at half of what it normally goes for, but yet nobody's buying it. You see what's happening here? You got an agent who's just boop, 
clocked out. They're done. I don't know what they're doing. She ain't answering any calls, texts, emails, nothing, right? I'm assuming I'm not the only one because there is no scenario where if this property uh, was priced at this price and the seller's actually ready to sell it, it'd still be here. The POS thing is messed up, trying to figure out if they actually ordered it already. No idea. Can't get her to reply to anything. I'm guessing that's why it's on the market for 84 days because nobody else can either. So, Jeff, in my opinion, there's nothing else for us to do here, man. Uh, it looks like they've clocked out. Sometimes you get listing agents. They put a property on the market with their client and, you know, they fight, right? Doesn't go well. Maybe something happened or maybe the seller just changed their mind. I don't know. No longer willing to sell, but the agent doesn't take it off the market. Why? Because listings generate leads, folks. Listings generate leads. That's a possibility. I don't know if that's the case here. Maybe the agent died. Maybe the agent got a new job. I have no clue because the agent won't answer any correspondence from us whatsoever. So there's really nothing we can do here, man. I think this one is a dud. If you want to submit an offer to see if that actually gets some type of uh, – Movement on their side, we can do that, but it's not passing the sniff test, bro, because 62K is an unreasonably low price, and it's still on the market. So I don't see this one ending with a sale. My recommendation is we spend our time elsewhere. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.